What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Bud Kelly. Who you with? Who you with? And I am not here to waste your time. Today, we are in here with Lil Ginobili. What's the deal? What up, though? So, the goal here is, it, it, will it be complex Detroit melodies we're showing people how to do today? I say complex, dark, melodic, for it type beat, slash, Michigan meets that type of, that okay. particular sound, the Michigan meets is Hojo the Plugs, that unique -ish sound. All right, so I normally start by making a chord. I kind of just... I'm in a, by the way, what I normally do, I put it on a minor harmonic scale. I'm going to put it in C, actually. Oh, those little dark spots. Is it the dark spots or the light spots? That's 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 the scale. Light spots. Okay, the light spots is what, is what, is what the harmonic scale is. Okay. So what I normally do, I kind of just go in here. I just click it until this sound good. I ain't going okay. to lie to y'all. It's just no set theory or nothing. But I normally kind of, I start off by making like a bar. Of a of a chord, and I kind of just go from there. Uh, here I sound sounds kind of mysterious. Yeah, ominous. I, I go from there. Yo, this is sauce. So let's do, let's do a let's do a little recap, y'all. Lil Janobi just said he start off with a chord and he get the scale. He goes and find the scale of his choosing. This is the he said the harmonic minor scale. Minor harmonic. Yeah, so he go in there and get the minor harmonic, and then as you can see, all the little light spots, that's where the scale is at. So he already got it laid out. So yeah, this is looking good. I'm learning too. Mm. Sounds good already. I like what like. we do from here. I invert one of these chords. One mm. of these three chords I in chords. I invert one of these. I can either A, move it up one, mm. I could move one down, whatever. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move it up an octave for the nothing too crazy. Then from here, I'm gonna put one up an octave. Since we started at C, we gotta have one at the very upper octave C. So now mm -hmm. we have something like this. That's 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 start number one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put y'all on some more sauce. This is what I normally do. See this pitch knob? Go in here, tweak around okay. with it, play around with it until it sounds dark. I'm gonna pitch it up. I'm gonna pitch it down one one cent. Boom! Come on! Sound, it, it Come different. on! Come on! I'm gonna Come pitch on. it down since we started at C. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go down four cents. Oh, they all line up together. Mm. All of these notes are still mm. on key. You mm. have to, you have to move it a certain. Uh, you have to move it a certain sense. Now you can't just move it down one cent and think I, that it's gonna sound. You like said something because, right there. You said some something. The keys aren't gonna be yeah. in key. That, that's what I want to touch on. You said you go down every hundred cents. So there's a method to that madness because like every hundred cent is a semitone. Go down four cents. Oh, let's go. Because it's all it's all in key. Let's so go. now, since I moved it down four cents, it's gonna sound something like this. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> then from here, I can either I can arpeggiate this. I can mm. add a layer. I don't normally do. I just sometimes it, it it just depends on how I'm feeling. So for now, for the for the tutorial, I'm just gonna grab like a little layer, such as maybe this string. Let's just say, let's grab a string. All of these are sound fonts, by the way. Not a VST, just strictly sound fonts. He would sleep on sound fonts. They were here before the VST. Sound fonts are very, very, very important. Now we have the strings. I'm gonna just kind of follow these notes. I don't necessarily have to copy and paste it. I'm gonna just kind of follow some of these root notes. Mm. Just kind of, just kind of hear I sound. From this point, what I normally do, I add a second piano. It's like it, it kind of it, it adds more texture to it. it. It makes it more of a darker sound. And what mm -hmm. I normally do is just my little sauce. I normally just put my little. This is how you make your, your beat sound super dark. I go from here. I drop my piano 
three octane, mm -hmm. I increase the velocity. Now you have something like this. Let me put it a step now. You got how dark that piano sounds. Yeah. Once I drop that it, bass. That, yeah, it adds like that very gritty sound. And then from there, it's just kind of like, go like four notes. You have something like this. Now, how are you making that thing move like that? How, how, how are you making it like move like that? You taking it and it just, how you do that? Um, where did I press? Um, you select your note with the, the what's command on? Control. Oh, yeah, control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you press shift to grab the note and move. Mm. Hold shift and then so, click it over. Okay, okay. So hold shift and you can yeah. grab that mug. Yes, sir. So from here is just like, let's see. Um, I kind of just follow these notes. Um, this is like I'm just kind of going in here and just making like a bass line with the stabs. That's essentially what I'm doing right now. Stabs and then once movement. I once I add the stabs, I normally pitch it back to zero cents and just see if I could add like another texture to it. Like I really just get like super. I get super into it. Like once I get to adding certain elements, I get to playing around with the pitch and just doing a couple. Of yeah, things. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just pitch it back maybe three cents just to see how it sounds now. <laughs> It's like my favorite little kit. Got all my little go-to sounds. I might drop a kit. I might drop a kit. You got it to. It, it depends oh, yeah. if y'all run this video up. That's really Hey, awesome. hey, run it up, y'all. Run it up. You know, we might release the kit. They kind of clash, though. What I normally like to do, move it up, I sound smoother. <laughs> Add that third step clap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like it's like it's almost like a stutter. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a stutter. It has like a stutter yeah. But you you hear what I mean though. Here, just adding my few little perks. Oh man. Sounds up so they don't clash as much. Absolutely, absolutely. We got the harps. What I normally do, I pan the shit. By the way, y'all need to start panning this shit. It makes your shit sound fuller. It just it just sounds better when you pan. Like when you pan shit. Shout out to Bye Kyle, cause uh he put Bye me Kyle. on. Game. He put me on game. You're not making this easy, Kyle. Shout out, Kyle. <laughs> but um, shout out, Bye Kyle. Make sure y'all pan y'all instruments and shit. I'm gonna just go in here and do like a light mix. Woo, okay. Y'all got to know about the sauce. Y'all got to just follow the scales. Literally just follow the scales and like play around with your velocities on the 808s too. Like you could you can make a crazy melody with just 808s alone. Like this, for example. You see how it doesn't have the same punch to it, but it Bouncy. still hits in a way. I'm going to add a sound to this bottle. Now I got my 808s. We got a little groovy sound. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go in here and add one more sound. Since we're already in the scale, I'm just gonna follow these notes. I'm just kind of clicking shit in. Don't mind me. Now you good, you good. We learning, we learning, getting the game. I'm just kind of seeing what this gonna sound like. Let me move this one down so it's following that root note at the bottom. Yeah. I'm putting y'all on game. Y'all just gotta follow your root notes. Just be simple. But what Bud always say, keep this shit simple. Keep it simple. Please keep, keep it simple. simple. But you can you can still go in there and sauce shit up. Like from here, this is literally following that entire scale as you see. Yeah. Light note, light note, light. Let me see. This is dark. You don't want to put your notes light. All these notes are light, so they're all in the key. So from here, this is what we have. <laughs> It's missing a crash, something to just add that last little element. So from here, kind of add in the, the open hats and things of that nature. So. That's it. Once you hear it's like your beat already done. Started off with the heart. That's the first thing that I had. I grabbed the heart. I found the scale that I wanted to play around in. So sound something like this.
If you really want to get freaky, by the way, you could add a strumizer to it. Strumizer makes it sound a little bit more natural like this. Hey. A little bit of a build. So you got the strings following. Then from there, I added a, a stab, a piano stab. Then from there, I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go with the drums, and I'm gonna add all all of the instruments, just instrumentation on. So from there, y'all gonna hear like the little flute. I might bring that flute up a little bit. Congo. Then I added a little Congo that had a little bounce to it. Style Michigan Meats, by the way. Shout out. That, that's the dope one. I ain't gonna lie. I also added the open hats to add a little bit of a bounce as well. Just a little hmm. bit of a variation. And then I added the crash with the hi hats. <laughs> That's normally how I be doing my shit. Mm. Nothing too crazy, a little 20 minute cook up. Simple. Let's go, let's Simple. Go. Simple. 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 Yeah. Y'all still need help. I know what to do. Yeah. Hey, did you know we would appreciate this? Um, Y'all know the deal, man. Uh, Let us know what else you want to see. And you got to remember all oh, this is simple. Ginobili and Bud, we out.